Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lipke here with Through Gamer Goggles. Today we have another box breaking for you. This is Compounded, which is a better gaming through chemistry. Uh, it's a board game, I believe. I haven't opened it up yet, I haven't taken a look at it. This is from Dice Hat Games through Game Salute. And we are going to pop in and take a look at it. Uh, very first time I ever saw this game. I was like, eh, I don't know, it looks like it's beyond me. I'm not a scientist type of guy, but it looks like it uses chemistry principles to make better a better game. Uh, so, the rules, or the textbook, to keep the theme. Uh, the very first page, you have the laboratory equipment, basically the contents of the game. Setting up the game, setting up the lab, I should say. Moving on, different studies, research, discovery. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty complicated game. There's about 14 pages of rules with some variants even. Uh, so now we're going to take a look at, wow, there's a lot of little pieces too. Uh, here is a turn order. There's a turn order quick slash quick reference sheet or card. Well, maybe not. These must be different players because the turn order is at the top of each one of these. So you have the purple, green, orange card. Then there's different. Uh, there's a, like a key here with different descriptions of what the symbols mean. Here's. red and here is uh, the special card for the two player game now there's a set of stickers there is a set of punch outs here with uh, all kinds of different symbols that have, probably have different meanings for them. Uh, there's even one, here I'm going to zoom in, because uh, some of them have some pretty neat little sayings on them. Like this one here is Lucky Dice, Heartland, Bell Ball, Pulsar. So it would be interesting to see what some of these things do with like this, these here. I really have no idea what those are. I'm not a scientist. Oh, look at that on the back. There's a fire extinguisher. Oh, that's what that is. Wow. Now that now that I turn it, now that I turn it that way, I can see that there's a fire extinguisher inside, and then it's an open fire extinguisher. Uh, the game board. Has the periodic table on it. It's a fold out. It's about 14 inches long, 7 inches high. I uh, <clears throat> actually look forward to playing this game with my children and getting owned because, well, they have some concept of science and I have no concept of science. comes with a nice black bag for all the tokens and pieces. You get a series of wooden meeples that are color coded. So these are probably for each individual player. I'm going to set those aside and not open that up too much. Then you have a key. I'm not really sure what the meaning of the key is yet. And then you have these little gemstones, which I've seen these before. Uh, my kids actually have a bunch of them for. There was a guy selling them at Origins a few years ago, well, or very similar to these. Uh, and what they, what we use them for is we use them for counting our life in Magic the Gathering. So these are basically, if you know, if you're familiar with those, that's basically what these look like. Not you know the easiest thing to tell on camera, but these are uh, plastic. 
And there, it looks like there's what? There's a blue, a green, a red, clear white, and some yellow. So there's a lot of pieces in this game. And then we have, these must be your recipes for different types of, oh. for different types of chemicals. Plastic on is pretty good. So, inside we have uh, ammonium carbonate. Peroxydisulfuric acid. Acetone, dimethyl trisulfide, excuse me, sulfuric acid, a few of those. That must be a point value of what the uh, combinations are worth. We have nitroglycerin, <laughs> everybody knows what that is. I don't know how to pronounce that. Butidine, whatever. I have to look that one up. Ethylene oxide. Trimethyline. Tri oh no, that'd be... Trimethylene. Ethylamine. Trimethylamine. Maybe. I'll look that one up too. Yeah, and I'll look that up. Then we have, hmm, I'm not sure what this one is. Maybe these are different types of element combinations you can have. These are slightly smaller. In there just as good. Oh, good plastic. I hate plastic. Yeah, it didn't want to let go. We have... Hydrogen oxide, got a couple of those. Calcium oxide, nitrous oxide, uh, there's different point values in the corner, different symbols in the different corners. Hydrogen peroxide, hydrozoic acid, hydroxylamine, Lamine. There's a key in the corner of this one, a uh, little flammable symbol. So apparently you can burn down your lab. Hydrazine, methanol, nitric acid, calcium sulfide. So I'm guessing you have to get certain numbers of these combinations to make the different possible recipes on the cards that we just looked at prior to this. Hydrogen sulfide. Methane. Ozone. Hmm. Formaldehyde. Lab fire. <laughs> wow, four of them. That pretty much is the whole contents of the box. So inside, you, as a quick overview of what comes in the contents of compounded, you have the elemental table, the tokens you need for representing the game, a set of stickers, 
the two player layout the different player boards I'm going to call these the recipe cards and these the ingredient cards gems meeples an orange key product bag and uh, we're going to call these beaker bags since they don't really give you beakers you got the beakers on the ticket and that is our box breaking of compounding in a week or two this is a complicated game it's probably going to take a few times to play it to write a fair review uh, we'll have a written review up of gameplay ease of play things of that nature for you Thanks for watching. This has been a box breaking with Through Gamer Goggles.